Hey everybody, Professor Matt, Balance Jiu-Jitsu, and today we're going to be looking at the rear triangle from side control. Welcome back to all of our current subscribers. Also, welcome back to everybody who continues to visit the channel but hasn't subscribed yet. If that happens to be you, we hope you would take the time to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell because it helps this channel out a ton. The rear triangle, or Uru Senkakujime in Judo, is a type of figure four chokehold. This technique encircles the opponent's neck and one arm with the legs in a configuration similar to the shape of a triangle. Applying pressure using both legs and the opponent's own shoulder, the technique is a type of lateral vascular restraint. This strangulation constricts the blood flow from the carotid arteries to the brain, potentially resulting in a loss of consciousness in seconds when applied correctly. To start, Marcy is looking to pass Logan's guard and settle into north and south. Now she's gonna bait him to get up on his side and then she's gonna jam her fist into his armpit to wedge him and stop him from getting out. As we can see here, if Marcy is not able to wedge or frame him out, he'll have the ability to move his shoulders out and that'll help him recover his guard, just like we see him doing right here. On top of that wedge, she's also gonna use an overhook so that she can lift up on Logan's shoulder and drive her weight forward to help keep him in place. Placing her shin on Logan's hip will help her put her weight there so she can take her leg and step it over into his armpit. Now you can look to lock the triangle. If you're dealing with someone bigger or stronger, it's a good thing to grab this wrist and that'll buy you some time while you adjust your triangle. Now we can move to finish the submission. If your opponent's keeping their elbow tight to their body so you can't get your hand in, we're going to look to place our shin on the hip again so that we can hold them in place. Now we're looking to reach under the head, grab the wrist so that we can keep the arm in place and throw our leg right over and right into the triangle. Once again, working into the strangulation or the joint lock. If your opponent's doing a good job dumping his head behind your arm and keeping his head to the floor, we'll switch our attack from the triangle and go straight for the arm bar. Another option would be to access the far lever and while your opponent's focused on that, punch your hand through to access their head and then move your body in place so that they can't bring their shoulder back down. Now we're gonna look to step our leg up and wedge Logan. We don't wanna try and just like swing it in like this cause it's lever access, it leaves too much space. Our opponent will be able to access that and then start to move back to their guard. Now you can step your foot in and look to control the head and the arm so that it keeps your opponent tight to you. Once again, we can now look to lock up the triangle and either look for the strangulation or the joint lock. So here we'll have a few different angles of this technique being performed in its entirety. Let us know in the comment section down below if you're a rear triangle choker. It also helps this video out a lot if you hit that like button and share this video with a training partner or a friend. I'd also like to take this time to thank our subscribers for their amazing suggestions on videos. That's all the time for us. I'd like to thank everybody who stayed all the way to the end of the video. And I'd also like to thank everybody who continues to come to this channel and support. On behalf of the Balance Crew, Coaches Double Gold and Coach Blonde Fury, this is Professor Matt wishing you the best of the day. Now go train and train hard, my friends.